be made there, but everybody believes Florida State's going to be great this year. I don't think there's any question they're the favorite to win the ACC and probably get back to double-digit wins. But it's 2012 that I believe Florida State could not only be good, but potentially be special. I agree with you. I think September 17th is going to be a real telling day for this Florida State team. Playing Oklahoma at home after an embarrassing loss last year in Norman. They're looking for some, for some revenge. The thing that I really like about this Florida State team is something we haven't seen in quite a while. It's a physical presence. What they did to South Carolina in the Chick-fil-A Bowl was impressive. They went out there and manhandled an SEC East champion team. If they can continue that and have that type of personality, that's what could take this team to the next level. It is the number one overall incoming freshman class, but you look at every level with so many of these top guys, it seems like someone is there. Carlos Williams walks into a pretty good spot. He'll play. Number one safety. <laughs> He's playing, though. Yeah. I don't you got James Wilder Jr. We and I would actually make I would back. I think he's going to play running back. I'd actually put Devonta Freeman at tailback into the lineup and into the depth before I'd put James Wilder. He took part in spring football. James Wilder is going to come into the fall. Was not there in the spring. Devonta Freeman's a guy that the Florida State coaches are extremely excited about. It's going to be a lot of guys that were in this last class that signed with Florida State that will be expected to have a role, certainly contribute, and as I mentioned in the case of maybe a Carlos Williams, contribute a a lot at least in the kicking game and in sub packages on defense what kind of role can a tight end like Nico Leary coming out of high school who has been phenomenal every step along the That's way right. that we've seen him having this type of offense that Jimbo Fisher likes to run well I think he's gonna take advantage of the talent he's got Nico Leary is a special once in a lifetime I don't know if it's that good but I mean it's a player that can come in and make an instant impact and Jimbo Fisher is gonna find a way to get him the ball the tight end is becoming a lost position with all these spread offenses around the country you don't see many tight ends or fullbacks anymore but I think they'll utilize him and find a way to maximize his potential. And they've got a lot of depth at tight end, but it's all walk-on depth. They don't have a premier scholarship type guy at the tight end position. I agree with you. Nick O'Leary uh, is going to be a guy that can not only provide what you need in line with his hand on the ground, but what makes him so versatile is he can back up as a fullback, he can play the H spot, he's great in the movement stuff, and he can really create some mismatches downfield in the passing game. And for E.J. Manuel to have that threat between the numbers down the middle of the field to influence safety coverage, it's going to be huge. Huge. They haven't had that in the past. So Florida State, we know what they could be if everything comes together. What does your gut tell you on what they actually will be this season? Uh, I think they have a great chance to be ACC champions. I don't know if they're ready to take that next step to be national title contenders. I still think they're a year away from that. Uh, they're just a little bit young right now. They're still getting used to Jimbo Fisher, his philosophy. The defensive side of the ball is still getting used to playing a 3-4 defense with Mark Stoops. I think one year, I think if you look at 2012, that could be the year they're back in the national title hunt. Now the games on the road for Florida State, Duke, Wake Forest, those are positives for the Seminoles. They get four of their last six games at home on the, on the schedule, except for that road game uh, at Florida late. That's going to be interesting to see how much Florida's improved and where this Florida State team stands at that point. And you're going to hear from Jimbo Fisher in our coverage of Media Day coming up tomorrow. You'll see that starting at 1 Eastern right here on ESPNU. Still waiting for Virginia Tech head coach.